So you've just bought your new shiny Android smartphone, or indeed tablet, and what do you do first? Download apps of course. I'm Rob Wilson, you're watching C4E Tech, and these are the cool and essential free apps and widgets you should check out when you first boot up your device. Before I do anything else, I want to know exactly how much battery life I have. And for the past four years, and with countless devices, Battery Widget Reborn has been my go-to battery widget. With a central percentage indicator and outer circle meter, it looks crisp and clean, if a little basic. But lying under the hood of this widget is a customizable workbench that lets you do almost anything. You can adjust what's displayed from time remaining to current temperature, or go completely to town and adjust the entire display of the widget. You can change a text color, background color, line width, secondary line, enable a drop shadow, offset that shadow, Essentially, whatever colourful creation you want to turn this battery widget into, you can do so with an intuitive set of customization screens that allowed me to create this monstrosity, I, I, sorry, I mean masterpiece, within 60 seconds. You can even set the border circle to change colour when it reaches a certain percentage point. And on top of that, there's also notification support that even expands into a battery graph. As battery apps go, Battery Widget Reborn has been my personal favourite since switching to Android, and I can't see that opinion changing anytime soon. Next up is Advanced Task Manager. Now before you all complain about how each version of Android is much better at handling apps than third party task managers, let's all agree on this. Apps sometimes get stuck and act like crying little toddlers. Sometimes you just need to kill the app and start again. So I'm not too interested in the Task Manager app as a whole, I just want a simple way to reset my apps when I need to. And I choose Advanced Task Killer because it has a one tap widget to do all this and it still works on the latest version of Android Lollipop, which many no longer do. Now if you've been wondering what my wallpaper is, it's this, Minima Live Wallpaper. This is a randomly generated live wallpaper that's customised through themes, colours, shapes and textures. It gives your screens an organic material design with 3D parallax motion and response to touch. It includes a widget button that launches the customization options and it's incredibly easy to use. Simply choose what you want, press refresh and it instantly generates a new, rich, vivid abstract for your backdrop. The free version lets you choose from around 35 different themes, while the pro one includes over 90, or if you're brave enough, create your own. Each one is beautiful and not too distracting as a live wallpaper, and you can add textures to the shapes to give them even more detail. There is so much you can do with Minima Live Wallpaper, and the one press widget eliminates so much of the clunkiness involved in changing wallpapers. I've saved the best feature until last too, this app lets you auto refresh the wallpaper in the background. I've been wanting this feature since the birth of Android, and now I finally have it. Weather and Clock Widget has a fairly obvious name, doing a job countless other widgets do, but like the Battery Widget, this is one that has stayed with me through thick and thin, and has a design that seems to fit no matter how much Android update their stock design language. The widget is multifunctional for starters, which is very useful. Tapping on the weather symbol will launch the app so you can look at an hour, 5 day and 10 day forecast. Tap on the date and Google Calendar launches. Tap on the clock and the Google Clock app launches. You can even change the app that launches if you want. The widget itself has plenty of modification options too, where you can add data points, change the font, set the colour and even change the theme to something a little more... How do I put this? Bright? The widget style itself comes in a lot of different flavours too, allowing you to make it as small or as big as you like with more or less graphics. It is a weather and clock widget that's stylish and comprehensive. But if you want something even more comprehensive, then you'll want arguably the best Android app available, ES File Explorer. For anyone with a device that doesn't include a file manager, such as Nexus owners, this is essential. For anyone with a pre-installed file manager, this is better. It does everything a file manager on a desktop would do, and a lot besides. There is a context control button in the bottom right that changes depending on what you are doing. 
You can swipe the screen left or right to look at different options. You can swipe in from the left to browse and use loads of different tools. You can use custom made gesture controls to do whatever you like and you can backup apps into APK files. There is far too much to list in the time that I have. Suffice to say, I haven't seen another app like ES File Manager that covers its area so perfectly and completely. And if you want a party trick, how about this one? The ability to plug in an external storage device, such as a USB hard drive, and stream directly from it. And that includes Nexus devices that infamously don't allow you to do this out of the box. If you have a better alternative to this or any other application covered in this video, pop your suggestion in the comments below and let's share the knowledge. <laughs>
And if you enjoyed this video, C4 eTech is crammed full of more stuff like this. So stick around, subscribe, and keep up to date with the latest tech. If you want more from both myself and C4 eTech, you can visit us on these social media platforms. Thank you very much for watching, and enjoy the rest of your tech day.